I'm Sheriff Tim Gobble. Thank you for watching VCSO TV. Today we're here with uh, Gabe Thomas, who is captain of our corrections divisions, which is one of our five divisions here at the Sheriff's Office, the other divisions being patrol, criminal investigations, judicial services, and training and support services, as well as Chief Dyer, who is the uh, Chief Deputy of the Bradley County Sheriff's Office. Today, our podcast, we want to talk a little bit about uh, Captain Thomas. He just completed the Post Certification Academy at Cleveland State. Congratulations, uh, Gabe, for that. You've uh, well trained and uh, dedicated employee. You have uh, been TCI certified as being over uh, as a captain over our jail for a long period of time, and the work that you do there is great. This opened up a new dimension, a different dimension for you, even though you have had some knowledge and experience in that area. Completing this academy was something new. Tell us a little bit about the academy and what your thoughts are. Well, it was a uh, great experience. Um, the director and assistant director over at Cleveland State are wonderful. Uh, they have a great curriculum over there. I learned a lot. Um, I, I also, I really missed being here, though, and well, everything. We, we missed you being here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Walsh did a good job filling in for you while you were gone, but you've done a great job, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Uh, we just completed our inspection, we'll talk about that, but continue on about the, the, the uh, academy. Uh, well, uh, we had a great time. I mean, we went to Firearms Week, went to Driving Week, which I got the driving award. Uh, Congratulations. So I'm certified. I can drive now. Uh, <laughs> but we had a great time and everything. Like I said, I, I learned a lot from the instructors. Uh, here at the BCSO, we have a lot of instructors that participate in the teaching process at Cleveland State. So I felt real comfortable there. Chief, you got anything you want to add? Very proud of Gabe. Gabe just does a good job here. Uh, this is going to broaden his uh, training knowledge and uh, look forward to more uh, more years with him. He, he does a great job with us. Thank you. Now, Gabe, you also were a class president, is that correct? Yes, I you was gave a class speech, president. You gave a speech at graduation ceremony? Yes. Very good speech. We're going to have that on a BCSO, another BCSO TV episode, so you can look forward to seeing Captain Thomas and his speech there. Now, another thing that we are very proud of, uh, come, you came back, Barry Suttles from the uh, uh, Tennessee Corrections Institute uh, was here conducting an, an inspection, and we just got the results of that inspection today. Yes. And let's tell our viewers about that. We pass with no infractions. Uh, our, our jail is certified and uh, for another year. We're ready to go. And we've got uh, plenty of customers over here. We've been actually beyond capacity for mm -hmm. a few uh, months now. That, uh, of course, fluctuates up and down, uh, you know, just depending on the number of arrests that have been made, and a lot depends on the courts and how, uh, what sentences, the sentences they're imposing. So, but we're, we're trending back down at this point right now, but we're still right at or above, slightly above capacity here at the jail right now, aren't we? Yes. All right, well, Gabe, we appreciate that. We're very proud that we have passed our inspection again this year with no deficiencies being found. And thank you for watching BCSO TV. And remember, when we say protect and serve, we mean it.